Here in Tampa, police have been working to fortify their District 3 headquarters in the Belmont Heights community. And your size, Jeff Patterson, has seen the latest tonight. He is there at the intersection of 22nd Street and 31st Avenue, continuing our team coverage. This is 22nd Street and 31st Avenue in Belmont Heights. And behind me over here is the District 3 substation of the Tampa Police. You can see a human wall of Tampa Police officers over there who are trying to protect their property. Uh, they have been uh, standing there uh, shoulder to shoulder for some time now. And essentially, we've been watching people go up and express a lot of anger tonight, yelling at the officers, holding up signs, uh, telling them that... Uh, that they are not happy with everything going on in the community right now. But I will also tell you that there have been some fireworks that have been thrown into the line of officers, uh, and they have even thrown fireworks into the crowd here in Belmont Heights. Earlier tonight, we were in Ybor City, where some of the business owners there, the Columbia Restaurant and others, were starting to board up their businesses to protect them, of course, because, of course, they saw what had happened uh, last night with businesses being looted and burned in the university community area. They didn't want that to happen in Ybor City, but when we were in Ybor, it was all quiet. They had, the Tampa police had shut off a lot of the streets and the bridges going into downtown and into Ybor City, so it was all quiet there. But when we came over here to District 3, a bit of a different situation. There have been people out in Belmont Heights tonight who are not paying attention to the curfew. They're basically just kind of walking around and looking for themselves to see what has happened. So tonight, Tampa police officers have been standing there uh, enduring fireworks being thrown at them. But so far, we haven't seen uh, anything else other than that. We have not seen businesses burn tonight. We have not seen businesses looted tonight, and we're thankful for that. So reporting live in Belmont Heights, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.